You know when this machine's out, it can't be good. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Lone Oak Farm here on Farming Simulator 19. Today, we are going to be expanding Field 42. No longer will it have this shape. We're going to be extending this out just a little bit and we're going to try and join like right there through to there. So it'll be not a square, but it'll be, you know, shapey. <laughs> so that's what we're going to try and do. The only way to do that, unfortunately, is to get all these trees out of here. Now, fortunately, we don't have to deal with all the little trees that you can't get rid of. Those little annoying ones. We don't have to worry about those. However, we do have all of this area. We're going to have to smooth it out. We're going to have to plow it up, bring it into each other. Uh, it's going to be crazy. We can see we tried to mow it. <laughs> I really tried to mow it. It just didn't work, but I did mow this field and I went in just like we did on yesterday's video. I did just like we did on 32. However, I have gone in and I've plowed these together. So I did this field off screen. I did this field off screen and I've done 41 off screen as well. However, we need to do 42 and 34 and 35 because I've purchased these fields trying to get rid of money. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got 3.4 million. So we've gone down about a million since yesterday, which is good. We just need to get rid of even more money. This is going to be our clover field and stuff like that. So we'll have to come through here. Uh, we're actually going to plow these into each other. So we'll have two fields versus just one and or uh, one field instead of just two. So we'll have all of that. Clover is very interesting at Farming Simulator 19 because it's, well, it, it's, it's rough. So we're going to have to do all that. So that's what we've got going on today. So you know what? Let's jump right in and let's get it started. Let's fly all the way over here and get this bad boy. Also, because of those fields that we did yesterday, we were able to, ooh, that was a wrong button. We were able to go through and get even more grass. So now... If we take a look in here, we've got all of our standard crops. However, we now have 203,000 liters of grass and 1 million liters of silage. If you don't know, for every 1 million liters of grass that we get, we turn that into silage. Now, because we've got silage this time around, I think hay is what's going to be next. But, well, you know, nonetheless, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Speaking of getting there, this is, this is what we're up to now. I literally just got to roll through, get these... Uh, Get these trees done. I'm going to try and get some of these. Maybe do like one run around, something like that. This is going to be real, real difficult. Not hard. Just it's going to take a minute. And I don't want to have to bore you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hit this. Maybe, you know what? Let's let's all come down here together. I am on the 6M, by the way, if you guys are curious. Or 6R, sorry. Z base game 6R. I need to get a modded version of this. But for now, I think we'll be okay. We need to figure out how we're going to do this because I don't want to delete too many of these trees but at the end of the day this is supposed to be a field so I know that we want to get rid of like through here that tree also may go as well so we'll get this there's that good everything is nice but you can see we do have a nice cluster of trees down here so I don't I don't really want to mess with that in any way there we go a little bit of that so I don't want to mess with these clusters of trees down here, but I also don't want these fields just to sit and go to waste. I want to actually get these close-ish to each other because, well, we, we own all the land, so we may as well use as much of it as we can. So I think that's what we're going to do. We do have a floating uh, floating tree right there, but that's all right. So I think that's, I think that's the move right there. Going straight through here. Oh, yo, can we hit this? I got an idea. Let's just pick this up. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Got it! Also, yeah, you just saw what? What did I think? Yeah. Yo, this does lime so fast. It is awesome! Cool! So, how's about this? I'm gonna run through. I'm gonna hit all these trees and all the stumps. It's gonna take a hot minute. Don't get me wrong. It's gonna take a, take a minute, but we need to get it done. And I know you guys don't want to sit through it. So, I'm going to hit that, and then it's going to be time to start working on the new field. Well, we've got all the trees is gone. All of them. And I got to be honest with you, I kind of like it a little bit more open over here. I missed the look, but I'm not going to miss actually harvesting <laughs> the 
way I normally do. I'm actually really excited about this design and how this is done. So it's gonna fit my gameplay a lot better anyway. So let's jump down here to the ground. We did get some wood chips off here, which is nice. We got, see, 803,000 liters of wood chips. So that's pretty good in itself. But what we really need to do is we need to get in here and smooth all this out because it is an absolute nightmare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the circle and we're going to bring our brush strength all the way to three and then just kind of follow along through here and try to get as much of this smoothed out as possible. Now we can come back through and add some more trees. I just wanted to get more or less a <laughs> kind of like an open base almost so I could see like, all right, this is this is the ground that we've got to work with. This is the area that we've got to work with will alter from there. So that's what I wanted to do was see, okay, what do we have? What can we use? And uh, how much land do we have at our disposal? Which is quite a bit, to be honest with you. Quite a bit indeed. We'll come through here. We'll have to actually, I'm gonna hit this just with a little bit smaller. Just bring that little hill down right there and then bring all of this together. I'm not too worried about this area right here. When you're going through smoothing, you're are, you're gonna lose some fields, especially if you get too close, but I, that's all right. <laughs> right there is okay. Look at that. Look at all that just smoothing out. Here in about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes in game, something like that, you're not gonna even recognize this area anymore. Speaking of minutes in game, I have put the game on hold on pause right now. So I went to time at zero for now because normally in seasons, you don't need to do that. Whereas you're playing base game, playing with zero time is super, super affordable. Uh, unfortunately, you're only able to do that on PC, though on console, you can turn it down to real time. So I don't think you're gonna be playing for 24 hours straight to, be <laughs> to begin with, but in seasons, nothing changes until uh, actually, this may be something you guys don't know. So you can see the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three above. So I'm using three day seasons. Every day things change in game. So whether it be crops growing or, um, you know, it's actually it's just crops growing. <laughs> it's just that, that's it. But if it's, you know, stuff like that, it is kind of nice because you don't have to worry about things growing in the middle of the day. Whereas base game, you do. So there is a trade-off there. Seasons is actually much easier to play if you're planning things in advance. Something to something to keep in mind if you've never played Seasons before. So what we've got to do is continue to come along through here, get all of this smoothed out so that we've got a nice area to work with. We don't want a bunch of bumps. We don't want a bunch of hills. Nothing like that. We want this to be as smooth as possible we're still gonna have a a big oomph right here in the middle of the field but that's totally okay totally okay as you can see the terrain is changing the terrain is changing right under us i think that's so cool to sit and watch i wish this wasn't green i wish it was clear so i could kind of see and you know have like a black outline on a clear area so i could actually see what's happening but you could still i mean you can get in here you could almost get in it and just go real slow and just see everything changing. I think that looks super cool. So this is all going to be, like I mentioned, one big field. Uh, the fields over here, I'm not going to connect it to, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, this connection will go up probably because this is a pathway here. So we'll probably bring this field up to about right there, maybe something like that. I may even create a dirt path going down through here since we're going to be creating so much extra area that I really don't think we need that extra field laying on the side. So with that, let's go through. I'm gonna finish getting this field done because it is gonna take a hot minute. We need to make sure this is nice and smooth. And then we'll come back to get it all plowed up and actually create the field. Now that that's done, I am going to come through and I'm actually going to paint the outline of the field that I want to use. We may even go a little bit wider on it just like that. And then we'll go ahead and paint a little bit of grass on the outside as well. So this right here will allow me to follow a kind of predetermined line on where to go and where to plow up. You can see right here, well, I don't want to get too far into that because that's going to be a completely different field. And I do want to get a little bit, of clo a little bit close to that. So come up through here, looking good, looking good. 
And then last but not least, let's run this up through here. Just like so. Kind of get some of that grass out of the way. Just like that. Hey, there you go. All right. That looks good. So you can see that all in the center is going to be taken up. So now that we've got that, we do need to paint a little bit of grass in. I think this is the grass. Yeah, that's the grass. So it's a different color. One thing that's really cool about uh, this grass in particular is it's a different color at each growth stage. So I believe in the first stage, so which is where we're painting, it's actually yellow. You get yellow flowers and then the flowers will mature going into year or the uh, second stage, which is red, as you can see, is what we've got down now. And then when you get past that, then it will mature into an orange and you'll be able to tell exactly when you can when you can mow it. So I think that is just super, super awesome. Let's let's get this whole area. I don't I really like that that dirt look right there. I want all this to be grass. And this is another great thing too. And come through and actually like make this look the way I want to versus having to just have it one specific way and it be that way. And I, I like I like coming through and I like customizing things and I like making the uh, making everything look the way I want it to look. Oh yeah, and I cut a tree down over here too. Let's go into sculpting here and let's smooth this out as well. There we go. Yeah, totally forgot I'd cut that tree down. I came over here to cut this line down, but I was like, you know what? Let's leave that. I kind of like that area like that, so I'm not going to mess with it. One thing I am going to mess with, though, is this area. Just, I need to, there's way too much going on. Oh, no! <laughs> too close. There's way too much going on over there, and I just want to get this smoothed out so we can bring our field over as close as possible. I know it's a little bit close, but... Meow. <laughs> and then painting, we can come through and make all this look nice so we can get about as close as we want. Yeah, there we go. Nice. One thing I may do is actually add like a bunch of trees to this side over here. I might do that. Who knows? Bring this up because we're going to be going up that way with this field. Ta-da! Just like so. We'll go back into painting real quick and we'll paint as close over to the edge as we can. That's also going to help us when we're trying to figure out, hey, how far over can I paint? How far over can I create a field? Well, about this far. <laughs> so we follow this. We guys think? I like this. Landscaping is one of my favorite things to do in Farming Simulator 19. And this is this is absolutely no difference whatsoever. Uh, I absolutely love doing this. So painting, landscaping, I it it really does make the game for me. Get rid of these bushes. Never been a fan of bushes like that before. Uh, yeah, this, this stuff, this feature, I believe this was in 1.4 or something like that, 1.2. I can't remember exactly where this was released, but this feature alone, I think, makes Farming Simulator totally worth it. Speaking of worth it, we are just about there. Let's create a line up through here. That way we know where our absolute separation between the two fields is going to be. Boom. Okay, now... <laughs> All I gotta do is get in here and actually make it happen. Oop, nope, I don't want that to happen. Let's turn this on. We got our John Deere 7 series. This John Deere 7 series is gonna do everything. So I'm gonna go through and we're gonna outline the new field or outline the new part of the field with the smaller plow. That way we've got super fine control. Go and drop that off. Get super fine control, turn this on. Allow create fields. We'll do that right when we get close to it. And then you can see grass, get a little bit of dirt. Allow create fields, drop it down. And then kind of set that look. And it may look a little bit interesting now. You may say, DJ, I don't like it. I don't like the way that looks. But trust me, when it's all said and done, when it's all plowed together, when it's all got its lime and it's got a got a crop in the field, you're gonna look at this and say, "Yeah, that's not actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Thought you were gonna mess it all up, DJ." I'm probably gonna do that anyway, so don't don't run too far. <laughs> I think we got a little bit close here, but that's all right. A little bit close is okay as long as we're not too far away. This is the area where I worry about the most: is bringing that line down. So let's go ahead and lift this 
let's turn off create fields. Uh, anytime you're moving a plow and you've got create fields turned on, turn it off. You will thank me, I promise you. Let's come through here, allow create fields is turned off. So I'm just gonna go straight through so I can find where we can and can't plow. So it looks like about this line right here. So if we stick our, our chisel down right in there, allow create fields. Gotta bring the cruise control down just a little bit. Yeah, about four miles an hour is probably gonna be good for us. And we should be good, and we are. Check that out. Straight down through there, like it's nobody's business. Yeah. So we'll get as far down as we can before we get too close to the woods. Looking good, looking good. And then turn. Boop. And we're connected. Sweet. So there's one. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to this field down here as well. Uh, just, you know, why not, right? Why not? We'll go ahead and hit this as well. Drop this down. And with this one, we could go a little bit faster. We don't need to go... I think I've got this set to go like 18 or 19 miles an hour. So we could just wa open this thing wide open and rock. There we go. So I didn't make the road after all through here, but that's okay. We didn't need to. I'm just going to overlap just a little bit into this grass growing area. And everything else should be good. We're here. Bring it down. We don't want to get too far up this hill. We want to get close enough to where it actually means something. And then I have done a little bit of smoothing, so we'll get close-ish here. You can kind of see where there's growing grass and where there's uh, flat grass. That's going to be where we want to follow. <laughs> I hope this is, like, working for somebody. I hope I'm not just going through and you're like, uh, yeah. yeah sounds, sounds good, DJ. I hope you guys are actually like, oh, that's actually a really good idea. I didn't think about that. Let me know if you've learned anything in this so far -ness. Again, this field, we've got two fields here totally separate from each other. I'm just going through right now and hitting... Oh, we've got a bump right there. We're going to go ahead and take care of that now. That way we don't have to do that later. So we'll come in, we'll go to sculpting, and just hit smooth. Just like that. And now we should be good again. And we are. Sweet. So this way, we've got one little bit of a larger field down here at the bottom. That way we could do our clover down here. Um, maybe do alfalfa the next year in game. Something like that. I don't want to get too all into it, but it would be nice to actually have, have the ability to put those types of crops down here. I'm not going to do much with them. Speaking of not doing much with them, I did not come through here and smooth any of this out. Oh man, we're going to get pretty close to the trees here, so... Don't uh, don't freak out too much. I need to get this smoothed out. I'm trying to do some of this live so you guys can see how I do it. Lots of you show interest in in doing uh, your own fields and making your own farms, but you're confused on maybe how to get started or how to do it. Um, and I hope that maybe this and doing it live with you helps out and and shows you be like, oh, that's not too difficult. And then we'll just come through, find our our ridge here. Paint it. And then we'll just come along and we'll hit the ridge straight on the side. Boop. Just like that. And then we'll find that grass. And I know not to go too far into it, but we can go a little bit into it. So there you go. That is the way I create fields, especially here on Lone Oak. That's how I create fields in a nutshell. Makes it nice and easy. Plus, the more fields that you expand, the more fields, the more field area that you give yourself to work more money you can actually make later on down the road and you like me you like making money i like making money a whole lot so that is how i do it hey you do something different let me know how you do it i'm gonna go ahead and finish this run right here and then we'll only have a few more things to go before this field is finished real quick i wanted to show you what we've actually done down here so this whole field you could see it was just this spot and this spot but now it is going to be this whole area. It's actually going to be a lot of cool. It's going to be really cool back here. And then this one right here, we've actually gone boop, boop, And instead of going up and around, we now have incorporated this whole area into this field. We've got the straight line here. We do have a lot of work to do still, but 
once we get the plowing done, then it's literally just lime and then fertilize. So what we will do between now and the next time that you see me will be, I'm going to finish plowing all of this up. We're going to lime it. We're going to fertilize it. And the next time we're here, we will be ready to put our first crop in here. But the question is, what do we put in here? It's early spring. We've only got a few things to choose from, so we will have to choose wisely. Well, evidently you can crash going 100 miles an hour, spreading lime everywhere, and completely wreck up a tree. Up a tree. Well, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you do. Enjoy the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We're going to be doing some more stuff with Lone Oak very, very soon. we got to get crops in the ground, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.